Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock starts now. But first tonight at 5 o'clock and here at home, it's now been two weeks since state police released this new sketch of the man they're now looking for in the Delphi murder investigation. And ever since they shared this picture, officers tell us that they've gotten more than 2,700 tips. People calling in saying who this person just may be. Yeah, but state police tell us tonight that a lot of those tips, they simply are not leading them anywhere. That's right, and it's very frustrating. So Rich Van Wyke looks into this today, speaking with officers, and joins us live in studio to share how valuable the new information is and whether or not it's leading police any closer to arresting the killer of these two teens. Rich. And Marie, police tell me they're getting information about new people, new potential suspects they've never looked at before. But they're also wasting time and resources checking out baseless leads. It's been more than two years since Abby Williams and Libby German were found murdered just outside of Delphi. Two weeks ago, police released this new sketch of the suspected killer, as well as a short video of him walking toward the girls. They also revealed for the first time they believe he is familiar with the area. He may still live or be visiting there, hiding out in plain sight. Mixed in with this wave of new information, though, police are getting a large number of baseless tips that waste detectives' time and resources. We don't need you to send us information on a neighbor, your ex-boyfriend, ex-fiance, ex-husband or ex-wife, whatever you're doing. We don't need that information. They want information about people who fit the description of this suspect sketch. Also, people who have been known to be familiar with the Delphi area or perhaps still there. About 10 investigators were working this Delphi murder case before the news conference. Since releasing that information two weeks ago, they've increased that number by 5 to 10 officers tracking down leads of all kinds. Thank you, Rich. Well, since that news conference two weeks ago, police asked us to wait Wait two weeks before reaching out to Libby and Abby's families to hear from them. Well, we waited and we did reach out today and right now we're told that no one is ready to speak with us. And don't forget, if you have any credible information that really could help lead police to perhaps the person who killed Abby and Libby, please email them their tip. The email right on your screen right now. We also have it posted for you conveniently at WTHR.com.